Hey guys, Shunty Phillips here with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Today you're going to go out and try and go to one or two different spots, getting a little bit of an earlier start so we'll be able to hit up a couple different spots. Also go to the regular spots as well, see the stuff that came out, see what stuff's on sale today. Also guys, check out the link below for a new horror project a friend of mine, uh, Shane Hartline's working on called Slua. It's like a cool found footage horror film. I'm going to have a little part in the movie as well. You know, they're raising donations up until October 30th. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the link below. I did a thing with him years back you guys might remember called skinning across America so it's in that but you know definitely check that out it goes till October 31st you know the money they're raising for that also gonna have a couple DVD and blu-ray reviews at the end of this video so anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today into the Valley thrift store we go yeah so we'll look around in here and see if there's anything different these sections sort of stays the same for quite a while but sometimes stuff in here changes out a little bit but not that much it's like sometimes I feel like the stuff I've seen like two years ago, some of it is still in here. But every so often, it changes it out a little bit in this place. And this is a weird thing in here. I don't know what this movie is. The Water Baby. It's like, I don't know if I ever heard of this in my life. 1978. I do not know this one at all. Look at this weird thing in here. Like it's like a blast cabinet. Like this is like something like in one of those like in the the alien movies. Like you put your hands in here and like you like you know try and like you know do like things with the alien creatures and stuff. This is a really weird thing. I don't think I've ever seen this in my entire life. In person. this is really weird. I guess you blow something up inside of it or something. I don't, I don't know. And I look this you know water babies up and look it's not even in there and it's, it doesn't have any value. That's the problem with a lot of these places is you got to really look inside these things because the stuff ends up being missing from inside the cases. You know, I, I was talking about that. This real weird old man was like, eh, eh, that was probably before you were born. Eh, eh. I was talking about that water babies. People, you know, always look at you really strange in these places. When I was talking about the blast cabinet. Immediately, like four different people went over to look at it because I guess they wanted to see what it was as well. Into the Salvation Army we go. Yeah, a whole bunch of people like took in a bunch of old tapes and like a bunch of real old stuff you know, like new kids in the block and stuff someone must have just gotten rid of a whole bunch of tapes and like dropped them off in here but what this is the kids classics that doesn't seem like something a kid would watch i don't know but you know as usual you always see titanic in these things it's like you can't escape titanic you know finding them in like thrift stores and everything it's like the thing you always find you know home alone and stuff but see there's anything different in here but it seems to be a lot of the same old same old stuff that you see a lot because even these new kids of the block kind of weird tapes you see them a lot as well yeah it doesn't seem like anything too different in here today but you know this is different old tapes though Pretty cool you know old Ren and Stimpy tape you know I always remember I love these because they were in these orange cases so I always remember getting these as a kid all these orange Nickelodeon tapes this is some weird looking movie in here. The Dead Don't Die. It's a weird cover on that. But of course though, you know, more copies of Titanic. Like I said, you never can escape seeing Titanic in these places. In the big lots, we go. So we'll see if anything changed over here. And they've been changing out the stuff a lot lately. Last time I showed this in here, and everyone was like, you definitely should pick this California one up. I'm probably going to get this one. This one seems kind of hard to find and online and stuff. It goes for way more than $5. So I'm probably going to get this. But they seem to have added a couple of different new things in here, like a uh, chain reaction I don't remember seeing in here the last time. And a couple of different stuff in here. Some of the stuff you see a ton of times, but see rabbits and stuff like that but this one like I said people like last time or everyone was saying you should definitely pick this one up this was actually a pretty good kind of less spoken about uh, Brad Pitt Juliet Lewis movie but this one I really never liked this S Darko but we'll look through here though and see if there's anything else different in here and they have like two broke girls for eight dollars so sometimes you can find some newer tv shows and stuff like that mixed in here because like i said every so often they change this stuff out but there's some stuff though they've had in here for years and years you you know they never seem to get rid of in this place like here's one that i've seen this thing since the beginning days this is one i used to always see in all the five dollar bins at walmart deal of a lifetime like i've always seen this never bought it but always see them in the you know either here or the five dollar bins 
Yeah, so I ended up getting the California Blu-ray in there. Like I said, it was like the only one left. I think it was the same one that was in there the last time I was in here. But everyone was saying, why didn't you pick it up? And like I was thinking, I really have never seen this more, you know, anywhere else for sale. So I ended up picking that up. Into the random thrift store we go. I just found like a new thrift store I've never been to before. And it's like everything here is like $3, I guess, for the DVDs and a dollar for the tapes and stuff. And see if there's anything different here. Like I said, I had never seen this one. I was kind of just sort of driving around and looking at what's around here and see if there's anything different. You always see these weird kind of things in here, like Diamond Clint presents you know, country and western line dance lessons. I mean, these are some of the weirdest stuff you find. Like, I sometimes like to buy these tapes just because they're so strange. You know, just because you never know really what they're going to be. And they're the kind of thing you're never really going to see anywhere else. I mean, probably ever again in your entire life. But, you know, this, we'll see if there's anything different in here and see if they have any DVDs as well. Because I see a lot of tapes. There's a couple DVDs here. I don't know if there's any more. Yeah, here's a couple more ones. These, I always remember when these first came out, all these thumb movies. It's an interesting, like, thrift store. Like I said, I kind of just discovered this one. I had never been in this one before in my life. And never, it wasn't even on Yelp. That's the thing is, sometimes when you look things up on Yelp, they don't show up on the thing. Like, if they never, you know, were put into the system and stuff like that, you're never going to find them. Me and Danny always find, like, different random video shops like that that are not in Yelp for some reason. Into Target we go. So, yeah, the mains of the camera today was, you know, San Andreas, which I talked about in the last update. Tomorrowland, and I'll have a review of this in the update this weekend. Uh, it was pretty good. It wasn't amazing, but I liked it for the most part. You know, dope, too. This is one I would definitely recommend you guys pick up. Really like that. We'll talk about that in the update as well. This is one of the things they have. It's an exclusive, you know, this exclusive edition. It's, you know, like, it comes with a storybook for Aladdin. This is the main release version, which I talked about in the last update, but this one is pretty cool cover on this one and I think it has like a storybook and it's like that's the main thing with it that's different but it's a very cool look to it though this one into the soup plantation we go no, no, no. Into Walmart we go. So let's see if there's anything different in here that came out today. I think this might be this week. Different drummers. I do not know this movie. I think this was this week today though. But you know, this was last week I showed. A lot of the same stuff from last week. Let's see if over here there's anything different today. But I don't think there's gonna be too much new because a lot of stuff came out last week. You know, Final Girl was last week, Old 37 was last week. I believe this one, Toxin, was last week. This might be this week, the Palmer Supremacy or something. I don't know this. Uh, I have a review of this at the end of the video, you know. And it, this, I, I never say this right, but I say it right at the end of the video. Um, this, I think, is new. Uh, Martian Land or so. This is like an asylum movie. That looks like a new one. But nothing else too different in here today. Into Best Buy we go. We'll see if there's anything different over here. It doesn't seem like they changed too much today. I think yeah, this was last week. A lot of this stuff here was last week. You know, like I said, the main stuff today was you know Dope and um, you know San Andreas and then Aladdin, which I didn't. I don't think they have any specific editions in here of Aladdin or not. You know, it seems like the main place that has a different edition of it is at you know Target. But it doesn't seem like anything else that different today. So that's all for this DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video. So that's all for this DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. The one thing I got was, you know, the California Blu-ray, but nothing else too different today. Anyway, though, guys, definitely check out the link below for the Indiegogo. And now stay tuned for a couple new DVD and Blu-ray reviews. And stay tuned for my update, you know, this weekend as well, my full DVD Blu-ray update uh, this Saturday. And the first one I got from uh, Accelerated Media is Amnesiac. And this is basically, yes, I had to look up the, the way to pronounce this word. I was saying anesthetic, very dyslexic. So I had to actually watch a video of how to say this title. But the movie you know, stars uh, Kate Bosworth and uh, Wes Bentley. You know, Wes Bentley is on the newest season of American Horror Story. So I started watching that. Seems okay. Definitely going to stick with it and see how it goes. Because, uh, you know, people have told me to watch it. So I wanted to, you know, watch the, from the latest season to see how it is. But this movie is basically about, um, you know, Wes Bentley's character. He's in a, with his family in a car. Gets into this accident. 
ends up waking up in bed and you know there's a woman out there who's saying that she's his wife and he doesn't remember anything he doesn't remember anything about the accident he doesn't remember how, how it happened he doesn't remember how he ended up getting there he doesn't remember this woman who you know is saying that she, you know she is his wife he doesn't know basically doesn't know anything of what's going on the movie kind of has like a sort of like a misery kind of vibe to it with him kind of you know, stuck in this house, and she's kind of feeding him through all kinds of medicines, and has him all tied up to all these kind of things, and he's kind of wandering around the house, and starting to kind of realize, like, trying to figure out what is going on in here, and really isn't able to really leave the kind of vicinity of the house. Like I said, it's got kind of a misery kind of vibe to the movie. It's it's relatively decent. It's one of those kind of things, too, when you're kind of watching it, too, to try and figure out what is going on. Is this woman really his wife? Is there something really weird about her? Did she kind of lose her mind? It's kind of like that, kind of watching to see what happens in it. Uh, the next one from E1 um, is the film with Bella Thorne called Big Sky. And the movie has a relatively pretty good concept. It doesn't you know, go perfect with the idea of the movie. Uh, the movie's basically about Bella Thorne's character who is has all kinds of anxiety dif difficulties and all kinds of problems and pretty much is stuck in her house, doesn't want to go out, doesn't want to go anywhere. She's had things happen in her past that have kind of made her become pretty much a shut-in and she's going to be taken with her mother to a kind of a treatment, kind of rehab, kind of, not really rehab, but more like a... Uh, uh, mental health kind of facility where they're going to put her there and try and help her and try and help her get over her problems and when she's going out there she basically have to put her in the back of the car and she has to lay down in the back she doesn't want anyone to know she's really there she wants it to be pitch dark she wants to have a flash she has all these kind of things that you know the car is driving through the desert ends up getting run off the road by these kind of criminal guys who have some kind of a plot plot to kidnap the one girl who's on there with them you know the person who's being transported to the facility you know they kill everybody on there you know they think they kill Bella Thorne's mother they didn't and Bella Thorne is left in the back because they didn't know she was there and Bella Thorne basically has to try and go to safety to try and save her mother who's been shot and try and you know basically get out of her comfort zone and leave and actually go out into the world and you know she's out in the desert and try and find people to tell them where you know her mother is but you know the stuff the concept about the people who were like doing the stuff and kidnapping it didn't wasn't done perfect. You didn't really understand exactly what they were doing and what their plan was. If they were trying to make it like the girl they were kidnapped was supposed to be like a celebrity, or I, they were kind of like, like they didn't get touch on that as good as they should have. And you didn't really care about those kidnappers very much. It was more like Bella Thorne trying to get to safety, and they were kind of coming back, but they were kind of worthless. Those characters. I don't know. There was it, just things didn't work perfectly with the movie. But I did like you know for the most part like the idea. I thought it was a smart idea. But that those two characters, though, didn't really bring too much to the movie. Uh, the next one from Grindhouse Releasing, and this is one that I had wanted to see for a long time, has a ton of features on this. A two-and-a-half-hour documentary on, you know, on the film, uh, a whole bunch of different stuff on here. But it's a you know, 4K transfer, and this was an amazing movie. And this is a Burt Lancaster film that he stars in called The Swimmer, and I absolutely love this movie. It's basically, um, like I said, I had never seen this before. It's from 1968. And a pretty weird movie. Columbia Pictures originally produced this. It's basically about this guy who, you know, he's kind of no one in his, has seen him in a long time. It's been you don't you kind of piece together little by little about how long it's been and what's going on. But he kind of shows up in his neighbor's backyard, and he's you know, he's in his swim trunks and he's basically like talking to them. They're going, oh, where have you been? And uh, they keep asking where his family is, and he's like, oh, they're back at the house playing tennis and kind of like what is going on here. And he comes with this idea of wanting to swim back home to his house by swimming in all the pools. Because it's basically a really rich, rich area where everyone has pools. And he wants to kind of go from house to house and go into everyone's pool and swim. And he kind of goes to each house. And some people really like are happy to see him. Some people really don't like him here. You know, Joan Rivers is one of her first movies. She's in the movie in one of the house party scenes. But they kind of go from house to house. And you kind of start to discover more and more about Burt Lancaster's character. And there's these amazing sequences like these montages kind of things of flowers and I don't know I, I love this movie I think like to me this is like one of the, my favorite things I watched in a long time I like these kind of movies the director of this also went on to do Mommy Dearest and it has that kind of vibe to it especially with the music but I would definitely recommend checking this out it's a different kind of weird movie but I loved it
Uh, the next one from Trauma is uh, one of Rowdy Roddy Piper's last films, and this is Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies. This is from Trauma, and it's got on here, you know, an introduction by Lloyd Kaufman. And the movie's basically kind of like a mix of, like, real wrestling stuff mixed with, like, zombie aspects. It's like these, basically these wrestlers that are kind of together, and they kind of get with their manager, and they want to take them out and put them in this big fight. This guy who kind of cons them into going out to fight this place, and of course it's where these zombies are. So it ends up being, like, all the wrestlers, Rowdy Right, Piper's in this. I think, um, uh, who else was this? Matt Hardy was in this. Uh, Jim Dugan, you know, Jim Hacksaw Dugan, a whole bunch of different wrestlers. Kurt Angle, they kind of get, you know, taken out to this middle of nowhere area, this weird facility where they kind of have to kind of fight off and survive from the zombies. It's a fun kind of movie. Um, it was cool too because, you know, like I said, it was one of Rowdy Right Piper's last movies that he did. And there was like a lot of different wrestlers in this thing. I think it's more if you're into wrestling, you'd like this because it has like some real kind of wrestling stuff mixed with like, you know, uh, fake stuff they kind of did for the movie. The next one, and some of you guys might remember, I had a short on the first volume of this series. This is Theater of Derange 2, and this is from Trauma as well, but my short was on volume 1 of this. It came out a couple years back, and this new one, it's a pretty cool anthology series. Uh, the one on here that I love the best was, um, the best segment was this one called, I think, like, Panty Raid, and it was, like, this guy who, like, was, like, obsessed with, like, you know, stealing panties, and he was, like, killing the women, and he's, like, going in there going, like, oh, Oh, where's these thongs? I hate thongs. Where's the, the granny panties and the boy shorts? And I don't know, like, I just loved it. And the guy was wearing my hat. So it's almost like I got to change my hat now because now I think of that guy talking about granny panties and boy shorts wearing my hat because it's the exact same hat that I wear in this movie. But it has on here a pretty funny introduction by Lloyd Kaufman, additional footage, bloopers. But like I said, it's kind of an anthology movies of all horror different stories, you know, cut together. You know, the wraparound segment uh, has behind the scenes features as well. But it's a cool, just fun, ridiculous, you know, anthology horror movie. And like I said, that segment was it worth it alone for that segment. Uh, the next one. Uh, from Unearth Films. This is a real art film, and this was actually pretty interesting. It's basically um, flies around all these different girls who kind of wake up in this kind of hole underneath this kind of killer's house, and it's like really disgusting down there. It's like underneath the house, and it's like they also wake up in like different rooms throughout the house, and it's kind of like them in some kind of a weird like state of like purgatory and kind of discovering things and figuring out exactly how they ended up where they were and kind of flashing back to their deaths. And there's no dialogue, it's kind of all just like sequences of like things happening to them and really creepy gross sequences and stuff like that and it's all like i said underneath of this house and throughout the house and like showing the girls and stuff it was pretty cool it has on here a commentary with the director um some behind the scenes i believe too there's a uh, two disc version as well of this or three disc i think that has like a long making of on the movie but it was a pretty cool weird arty like silent movie like i said no dialogue uh, the next one from um, Doblegonger Films, this is called Alua, I believe that's how you say it, and this is basically about this girl who ends up meeting this guy on a kind of like a dating kind of website, and her friends talk her into going and meeting this guy, and um, you know, she's kind of had no luck with dating and things like that, she ends up meeting this guy, and it turns out this guy has got this all this kind of weird stuff he's done with killing these people, and it kind of ends up being kind of like natural born killers, and it's based on like a true story about these this couple who were going around killing people, and it's pretty much them kind of getting together, and their weird relationship with them together, and what's going on, and them kind of going out together on these kind of thrill kills, and all these kind of weird stuff going on, and them kind of picking victims and stuff like that. It's a pretty well-made movie, it has on here a comedy track, uh, shooting the film, cut scenes and interviews, but that's essentially what the movie was. And the last one is from a company called uh, Videonomicon, and this is a really weird, I don't think it was shot on video, but it, you know, it was, I think it was shot on 16 millimeter, but it's like a real VHS kind of quality movie. Uh, really weird one, a lot of people are talking to me about like how strange this movie is, and it's very weird, it's called Science Crazed. I'll put a link for if you guys are interested in checking this one out. It's a real DVD, you know, a, you know, a real release and everything of it. And it's basically though, a scientist who ended up like kind of doing all these experiments on women and he ended up this woman comes dies and this like full-size person is born from this experiment and the person is kind of going around killing people and things like that and that's essentially what it is is these weird like in the background you hear like <sighs> and all these weird noises and all these weird sequences of like people getting killed by this creature and stuff like that it's a very cheesy very very strange movie it has on here um some interviews with the you know um 
you know, the cast and crew on here, a Q&A, a bunch of different stuff on here, uh, you know, the trailers as well for the movie, but a really cool, weird, strange movie. But anyway, though, guys, that's all for this video. Thanks again for watching subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.